Fertility is massively being caused by electric vehicles. So it will lower your testosterone at least 18%. So yeah. let's just get that across yeah, right. the board. That's n and there's no question about that. Yeah. That is science. And you didn't think we could do it, but we have. We have actually found the stupidest video on the internet. Now, I know I look amused, but I'm actually seething. These two from the human garage, their t-shirts are almost right, they just need to add a B. Some of the worst people on planet Earth. Because they're preying on people who are struggling with infertility. Because if you believe this absolute BS, you might buy a bag of rocks off them. And if you're wondering what EMF rocks will do, the answer is, of course, nothing. These are hand mined Tesla crystals, which is not a thing. They contain the healing pulse of the Earth to repel EMF. Unsurprisingly, these guys are the number one world's bestseller of EMF rocks. Who'd have thought? EMF is electromagnetic field. Imagine like a force field, for lack of a better term, that's produced by electrically charged objects. It is a type of radiation, but it's not like a Chernobyl type of radiation. It's effectively two types, non-ionizing and ionizing radiation. Ionizing radiation is the scary stuff, which is what damages your DNA and causes the Chernobyl-like scenes. EMFs are part of the very big group of radiation that is non-ionizing and does not damage your DNA. They have studied EMF fields in electric vehicles. They have been tested as equal to or lower than the EMF levels in an internal combustion car. But why am I surprised? These guys also sell a lot tuner into the brain charger. It's kind of hilarious because that will also produce EMF. When I'm Supreme Overlord, people like this will actually have all science taken away from them. Technology, medicine, cars, computers, the internet. Oh, and if you think I'm being a bully for this video, good, because people like this should be eradicated for the internet. You should vote for me. That'd be great.